Hey guys, and here we are back with another video. And as promised, here we are with the Xiaomi Notebook Air 13 inches i7 quad core running macOS ICR in this particular case. So it's Akintoshable and it's not difficult at all. I've had a few issues, but now it is fixed, at least the issues that I could fix. In terms of installation, guys, really quickly, I will leave the EFI folder down below. And for those of you that are new to this kind of installation, I will leave some links down below as well for the other videos that we made in the past so that you can follow the installation video with this folder that I will leave right on this particular video. Now, in terms of performance, what I can say is that we are achieving the same level of performance that we have on the 15 inches Xiaomi Notebook Pro. We have the same CPU, the same hardware. Basically, at this moment, I'm dual booting. We have the same issues that we have on the previous models and we have the same pros that we have on the previous models. The thing that annoys me more is that the trackpad does not work as good as it does on the uh, Xiaomi Notebook Pro 15 inches, which from the three models is the one that works better in terms of the trackpad experience. Now, I would like to show you guys with my camera right over here two things, one of which is the dual booting, uh, which is really quickly and can be very useful. And the other one is actually the frustration of the trackpad, especially for someone that already has used a MacBook Pro, for example, which works in a completely different manner. Okay, so hopefully you can see like this. And what I mean by the trackpad is that uh, when we are doing basic movements, everything is okay. As you guys can see right over there on the screen, nothing to, I can just not full click, just touch to uh, click. One of the things that I cannot do is the double click or the double touch to mimic the right click. I will actually have to right click to give the right click function. So this is not the way that I use with the MacBook Pro. I usually just click with two fingers and it will give me the right click option. But this is one of the things. And then in terms of gestures, guys, really simply it doesn't have any gestures at all. In the Xiaomi Notebook Pro 15 inches, we have some uh, gestures and a different kind of feeling. But here, what we can expect is to use the trackpad as a basic trackpad. It has a nice touch, but a basic trackpad. Uh, one more thing that I would like to mention is that when we are browsing the web, for example, if I go here to a site in Wikipedia, for example, and well, not even need to go to Wikipedia, as you can see, uh, browse, scrolling, sometimes we have this issue where we hide without wanting the uh, window and it's very slow to scroll. As you can see, it's one of the not so good experiences in terms of the trackpad but as i said it has the same experience that we have on the i5 model that we have seen on the past 13 inches one other thing that i would like to mention and show you guys here is that uh, we can have the dual booting system real and this is one of the uh, good things about it and i'm just going to restart so that you guys can see on this camera right over here how quickly we can restart into windows and windows to mac os and so on and so forth and i will not cut the video let's go straight into it so we just left mac os and right now now going to Windows and it will take a few uh, seconds but as you can see really really quickly and it's working on an update but there we go and we are right now on Windows of course on Windows we can work with the fingerprint sensor on <laughs> Mac OS we can't and now if I go and uh, restart we will go and restart the system and get back to Mac OS and it will be a matter, of course, of a few seconds as well. And I've got an update pending here on Windows, so that's why it's taking a little bit longer. But we will have the boot menu right over here. If we don't touch it, what happens is that we will go to the latest booting operating system, which was Windows right now. I want to go to Mac OS at this moment. And once we have Mac OS and if I restart, it will go back to Mac OS if I don't touch. So the default is boot from the last operating system that we had running on the machine. But as you guys can see, this experience right over here in terms of dual booting, of course, I'm using two disks as I showed on previous videos, but it is 
a great experience in terms of having Windows as a main operating system and then being able to use macOS as a second option but of course being limited with the issues that we have talked in the past and of course the experience on the trackpad is not 100 and that is it guys in terms of feedback hopefully this efi folder that i will leave linked down below and of course credits and so on and so forth will help you guys that already have this machine or are considering this machine to be a windows machine and a mac os machine and if it does don't forget that usual thumbs up my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one.